Hi, I'm Nick, and today we're going to show you how to resolve Android WCAG Focus Visible violations. WCAG 2.4.7 states that all keyboard operable user interfaces have a mode of operation available where the keyboard focus indicator is visible. The intent of the success criterion is to help the user know which element has keyboard focus. This success criterion helps anyone who uses a keyboard, whether that be an external keyboard or the internal keyboard, operate their content by letting them visually determine which portion of their content currently has keyboard focus and thus will receive the inputs that the user uses the keyboard to provide. People with limited attention or limited short-term memory will benefit from not needing to remember where they last left their keyboard focus. One example of a possible place for focus visible violations is anywhere that users enter text. Where they have a text box, there is usually a blinking caret which delineates where the user's keyboard operations will interact with at any point in time. If this blinking keyboard caret delineating keyboard focus is not present, then a focus visible violation is thrown. For more details on the specifics of WCAG focus visible violations, check out this link here. Link also in the description down below. Check this out, we're going to try and navigate to this like button using the focus visibility. As we hit tab, we can see focus travel across the screen, and then eventually it lights up the like button. Let's go and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Here we have a focus visible accessibility violation brought to us by the Mesmer Accessibility Audit. We can click on the screens containing this violation to see where it's located. Now that we know where our violation is located, let's put it up on our emulator so we can take a better look. Let's go ahead and try and fill out this form. Oh no, we made a few mistakes. First, my name doesn't have a K in it, and next, there should be a period there. So we can use our keyboard to navigate back to edit. But when we try and do so, we can see that the focus visible indicator is not present on the screen visually, thus causing a focus visible violation and making it impossible to effectively edit this form. From the code, we can clearly see that some nefarious user has set the focus visible or the cursor visibility to false, thus causing this violation. We can resolve this violation by deleting the line, and let's rebuild our application to take a look now. Now, when we try and fill out this form, we can make mistakes and see where our focus is to go back and correct them, thus resolving this focus visible violation. And just like that, we resolved our Android WCAG Focus Visible Accessibility Violation. Have you tried out the Mesmer Accessibility Sidecar? Let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and happy developing!